What is going on, YouTube? It's your boy West here, coach of your Carolina Pan Champs, bringing you week five of the HQPL actually on location this week. We're uh, not where we normally are. We're back home with uh, at the Russell household. We're chilling. I came home with some car trouble. We're getting that fixed and everything. Everything will be good to go. But uh, yeah, we're going to be somewhere new this week. So hope you guys enjoy it. Um, we're going to jump right in into week five of the HQPL up against Patrick and his dream something i don't know um i don't know the team name i'm sorry patrick if i'm butchering it uh but we're going up against him hopefully with something completely um out of the ordinary for us we're actually going to try and do two different teams against him in one team of six i'll show you what i mean in a sec but um it's gonna be a very interesting um play out play style this week we are currently undefeated he's currently lost one so I want to do something unique. I want to play more aggressive than I normally do, and I want, definitely want to try and take him out. So that being said, let's go ahead and show you what I'm bringing. So as you can see, we are of course bringing our Mega Metagross. It has been one of the biggest hitters this season. It is definitely one of my favorite Megas of all time. It's one of the most powerful in a OU style format in a singles playthrough. Um, this is going to be possibly all we need to beat Patrick. Um, every week, Patrick plays the exact same way. Uh, he leaves with Omastar, he goes for Stealth Rocks, and if he lives longer than that, he sets up Spikes. He plays the exact same every single time. He always brings a Focus Sash on it, as far as I can tell. That's just what he does. And so, I want to capitalize on that consistency with Mega Metagross. Um, I think this can be a team in and of itself going up against Omastar. I'm bringing Rock Polish, Meteor Mash, Zen Headbutt, and Power Up Punch. Now here is my thought process. If he goes for Stealth Rocks turn 1, I can fire off Rock Polish. If he goes for Spikes, I can fire off Power Up Punch. That'll bring him down to about 60%, maybe a little less. At that point, another Power Up Punch will take him down, in which case I will be plus 2 in both speed and attack. And Mega Metagross rips through his team at that point. We're bringing Meteor Mash and Zen Headbutt for everything else. Um, we will basically tear through everything on his team at that point. So that's really good for us. Um, Power Up Punch is like 90-something to uh, Magnezone. So that'll be good to go. We'll be able to take it out with one more and be able to get up to plus three if we don't some other way. Zen Headbutt, Oko's, Mega Heracross, and Breloom, two of his biggest threats that he's used. He's not brought my Lodic, but Zen Headbutt does 90-something to my Lodic with Marvel Scale activated. Um, he does a tremendous amount to everything on his team. Rotom Heat I, either takes 90% or gets O-Code by Zen Headbutt at plus 2. So if this works, Mega Metagross will be all we need. Even a burned Mega Metagross is still even at plus 2. So if Omastar gets off a Scald and burns us, will still be even at plus two, in which case Mega Metagross will still be viable, still be able to rip through things, we can get a plus one or plus two on something else. So really, this is going to be the best set if everything works out. If not, we've got another team of five that I think can also counter. So next we are bringing Togekiss. Leftovers, especially Defensive Calm, to take hits from things like the Magnazone, like the Milotic, things of that nature. We're bringing Air Slash, Flamethrower, Defog, and Soft Foil. Air Slash, Oko's Breloom, it does a tremendous amount to Mega Heracross. If it doesn't kill, I think it has a small chance to kill, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Flamethrower hits the Magnazone, Air Slash will hit the uh, Milotic, it will hit a lot of things. But most important is we're bringing Defog. Now, this is the contingency Pokemon if Mega Metagross goes down. That means almost Star will have set up not only Stealth Rocks, but probably a layer or two of Spikes. And we can't have that dwindling down everything else, especially Infernape, which I'll get to in a sec. So Defog will get rid of all those entry hazards and let everything else be able to come in for free. His hazard setup will be gone. Everything should be good to go. Next, we're bringing Latios, which is, which is rocking Draco Meteor, Psychic, Ice Beam, and Surf. Um, Surf, which is kind of out of the ordinary, is going to be good for hitting the Rotom Heat, which actually takes... 90% from it, so it's going to hit it hard, it's going to hit a tremendous amount. Um, Ice Beam is for the Breloom and for the Mega Heracross, which we will outspeed naturally. Um, Psychic is just a general coverage move, and Draco Meteor, once again, it's the hardest thing move we've got. It's going to be general coverage, Life Orb is going to take that, with the exception of Broke Meteor. It has a chance to, but it's not guaranteed, so we're not going to really rock that as much. Um, 
standard set. Next, we're bringing Infernape, Expert Belt, Iron Fist with Close Combat, Thunder Punch, Flare Blitz, U-Turn. Uh, U-Turn is great to get in, get out. That's our biggest um, thing, is so we can send it in and sit, you know, take it right back out. Uh, we're going to have Close Combat. It's going to hit a lot of things hard, like the Magnazone, like the Rotom Heat, like the Milotic. Uh, Thunder Punch for the Milotic. Um, we're going to bring Flare Blitz for the Magnazone, for the Breloom, for the Heracross. We are going to bring U-Turn, just to, like I said, just get in, get out. Um, Expert Belt's going to do a tremendous amount of damage to everything it's super effective against, so feeling good there. We're bringing Jolteon with Choice Specs Volt Absorb. This would be great to switch in against the Magnazone. Get Volt Absorbed off, take it out with, uh, not take it out, but deal some damage back with Thunderbolt, all that kind of vibe. So like I said, we're bringing Thunderbolt, Hidden Power Flying, Shadow Ball, and Volt Switch. Uh, Volt Switch gets it back um, out. Shadow Ball is going to hit the Glade pretty hard, as well as um, hit things like the uh, Grand Bull if, we, if it switches in. It's... Shadow Balls is kind of general coverage. Hidden Power Flying will Oko Mega Heracross, will Oko Breloom. Um, it does a lot to Gallade if it switches in. Uh, Thunderbolt is going to take out the Milotic, or do a tremendous amount of damage. I don't know if it'll take it out with multi scale, but it'll do a ton. So, feeling good there. And last but not least, we're actually going to bring Golark, which is a little controversial. Um, wasn't sure about this last uh, slot, to be honest with you. But I figure we can bring Focus Sash No Guard. Um, Stealth Rock, Dynamic Punch, Earthquake for the uh, Electivire, and we're going to try something really, really cheeky. We are going to bring Fly. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever had a Fly Golart go up against you. I've never seen one before. Um, according to Showdown, it's validated. I couldn't find Fly on the damage calcs, but in my understanding, it will Oko both the Breloom and the Mega Heracross. Scott's two big heavy hitters. Um, the name punch will hit things like the Magnazone, it will hit the Omnistar if Omnistar is still around somehow, don't know how it would be, um, but Fly is going to do a lot, and so I'm very excited for, um, to rock that, I don't, I've never seen it before, hopefully it's something Patrick's never seen, but with that being said, that's going to be our team, hopefully it pays off for us, so I'm going to cut to the battle and we'll see you there. Alright guys, welcome back, we are now currently waiting on Patrick to accept this battle request, um, like I said, I am hoping he brings Omastar. He does? Okay. So here's what he brings. He brings Omastar, Milotic, Mega Heracross, Breloom, Rotom Heat, and Electivire. I don't think he was expecting me to be ready for Electivire because he's never brought it, but I have been preparing for this for a while. Um, big scary things. Uh, I'm glad not. I'm not seeing the Mag uh, Magnazone. It kind of stopped Metagross a little bit. Uh, the big thing is going to be Rotom Heat v Mega Metagross. Um, like I said, I'm expecting him to go ahead and lead with Omastar, so let's go ahead and lead with Metagross and see what happens. Okay, so we're up against Omastar. That is great news for us. We're going to go ahead Mega, and I'm going to go for Rock Polish, and cross my fingers, he doesn't go for Scald and get a burn. I'm going to cross my fingers, he does go for Stealth Rocks instead. Okay, so we Mega Evolve, we get a Rock Polish up, where two times, he goes for Scald, that's unfortunate. It does not get a burn. Okay. But it is doing a lot to us. Now, we do outspeed, and we can live another Scald. The problem is that's going to put us kind of low. So, I don't have anything that necessarily wants to switch in and take a Scald. But, I'm going to go for Power Up Punch and see if he goes for Stealth Rocks or something. So we bring down 45%, Weak Armor activates, he goes for Stealth Rock. Okay, we go for another Power Up Punch, we get to plus two, and we're going to be good to go. Alright, so we are at plus two now, we're at two and two. That is awesome. Mega Metagross rips through things at plus two, especially two and two. I've never seen someone be able to get Mega Metagross up to two and two before. This is something completely unprecedented. I don't know why he went for Scald the first turn and then switched to Stealth Rock, so that was an interesting play on his part, I guess. Okay, so we're going up against John Cena. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt. Please don't miss Mega Metagross. If you miss, that's going to be really unfortunate. Um, he goes for it, he hits it, and we take him down. We take out the Mega Heracross. That's a big threat out of the way real quick. Um, we are currently like two minutes into this battle, and we've taken out um, two of his big things. So he's 420 Bake It coming out, Rotom Heat. I'm going to go for the Zen Headbutt again. That is the best play we can go for. Um, and we Oko! 
Oh my gosh, she was not running defensive Rotom Heat. I was preparing for that. Okay, so he's going for rare Pepe. Pei. Um, if I can get the Zen Headbutt off, we're going to take that out too. And it's down! Okay, he's got two Pokemon so far in the first two minutes of this match. Mega, uh, Mega Metagross taking out four Pokemon. Now he's down to two Pokemon I can easily handle. So we're going to go for Zen Headbutt again. I don't know if it'll connect. It does connect. And we get the crit! Five Pokemon in like three minutes! Now all he's got left is a Girathon. If we go for Zen Headbutt and we connect... <gasps> it worked! Your Carolina Panchams just swept through Patrick's team in under three minutes. Yes! We are 5-0. and oh. We just took on someone I thought was going to be our best champion. I think I just honestly surprised him. I've never seen this set before in Mega Metagross, but I'm really glad it paid off. Uh, great battle, Patrick. Thank you for trying. Um, this is... A great moment for us. We are currently five and zero. We're still undefeated, going into our last match of the season before our bye week, and then the play and then the playoffs. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And um, like I always say, it, we hope to see you around sometime.